Testing one two. Testing one two. Yeah. This is some real shit. Uh, it's kind of hard sometimes when you know the camera's on you to speak. Because you want to come across straight up, you know, for real, legit. Well, I found out the second best way, if not the first best way to do something is just tell the truth. It's not hard to remember the truth. The truth wears no disguise. I want to talk about how I came to <coughs> find my solution for um, shedding, you know, shedding off this old skin, this old ways, bad habits and shit to that effect. See, I used to fuck around, man, and do shit, things, you know. I was like this rebellious guy. Listen, man, I'm not trying to hear that. If I didn't like something, I rebelled. And if you told me it wasn't written like that, I'd tell you that's how it was spelled. <laughs> yeah. But that's how I was. Most of us are. I want to share something with you. I want to share something with you for real. Deep. I want to go deep. And as I do this, I'll be cleansing me and freeing me. And if in fact this could free you too, or you get something from it, and be able to help someone you love who's going through what I went through, yeah, so be it. <laughs> See, my problem was I was handicapped. Yeah, I was handicapped by my own vices. I always want to be somebody other than me. I want to be that guy that I was able to see because I couldn't see me, at least not with clear eyes. I was also caught up in this phase whereas I wanted to see myself through the eyes of other people. That's virtually impossible. Still, it's what I wanted to do. So I hung out with friends and did what they did. If they did it, I'd do it. Because of my tiny mind, that was the thing to do. Shit, Jose does it, why not me? Bullies doing it, why not me? Yo, Hembe's doing it, Flacco's doing it. Yo, I'm down. Tell me what I need to do in order to do what you do so I can do it too. So it started out, you know, with me, uh, Drinking, I think it was, uh, we used to buy a quarter beer and three loose cigarettes. I was about 13 years old. That's all I, that's all I, that's all I knew was to follow somebody. I wasn't a leader. I mean, actually, there aren't any born leaders. Leaders follow good example setting people, and that's how they become leaders because someone led them. There's no such thing as a born leader. But you can lead yourself into some shit if you're not careful who you follow. Yeah, we get drunk, man, and stop acting like a whole brand new, different person. And then I came to realize that this was just part of the behavior and attitude when you didn't listen and take heed to what you were told by wiser people, your mother, your father, older brother, well, you know, somebody who's been through it. Another part of that is a lot of us are so ashamed and afraid and worried about what other people are going to think of us if we were to tell them about some of that wicked stuff we've been through that we tend to protect. We think we're protecting ourselves, but we're not. We're protecting the disease, the diseased behavior, the, the diseased attitude. That's all diseased. Disease. What is disease? Oh, God, he's got a disease. Oh, my God. Get away back, back. He's got a disease. Oh, my God, he's got a disease. It's not that deep. Disease simply means not at ease, you know. You get some shit growing outside of your arm, it's a disease. Your arm and your body, you're not at ease. It's something abnormal. Doesn't mean you're abnormal, just something that's growing out of your ass is abnormal. Shit. You go to the bathroom and pass a turd and it's purple, that's possibly you, you might just have a disease. Or maybe you just eat purple cabbage with that. But, um, yeah, reverting back to what I'm saying is you have to open up and let somebody know what you've been through in order to get some assistance to free you. And it starts with you and ends with you. I know a lot of people who have been through some things and 
they reach that point where, hey, man, they have nothing to lose. They already felt like they lost the self and they were spiritually bankrupt, you know, it's like self-will run wild and doing everything and anything just to be down, a part of, yeah, man, listen, fuck that, I'm with it, man, yo, if it's going to make me feel better, I'm with it, you know. So they took it and they liked it. They weren't even aware of what was going on or what it was doing to them. All they realized is what they believed it was doing for them. It made them feel different. And sometimes that's all we're looking for. It's just a different feeling from the real feeling that we refuse to deal with. Step to your feelings, man. Step to your feelings. Step to your feelings. Face them. It's like the invader. Face the invader. Center yourself. No, stop. I'm at work. If you're going to enter, leave hostility outside with chaos. Don't bring that stuff up in here. Yeah, you come on in. We can talk about it. Because when we talk, I'm a center myself. Yeah, and I'm going to be prepared for the jive you try to slip at me. And I'm going to answer you straight up with honest answers. Straight responses. No reactions. I'm not reacting anymore. Usually when we react, stuff comes back. Let me say to myself, damn, is that me? <clears throat> yeah, okay, well, it all boils down to learning how to think, plan, and do. You think it, you plan it, then do it. At least you have an idea of what to expect. If you just react and do things on impulse, you might just lose your pulse. Open up your heart. So when you're ready to do something positive, you can look into your heart, then your mind, and connect them. Between the heart and the mind is where life is lived. 18 inches between here and here, life is lived. Most of these decisions come between here and here. Yeah. If you feel it in your heart and your mind sees that it it's good, you're going to do it. Even if it's a bag of dope. <laughs> if you think it's going to make you feel better, it's just going to be in here. Decision here. Let me get to it. Can I get two for 18? You know? Yeah. Oh, man. It's like you need to really step up to the AM. Get involved, man. Involve yourself. You're free to wonder. Good or bad, it'll take you there. The choice is yours. We have, we as human beings, we have this habit of allowing our instinct to be our leader. Listen to me. You're not an animal. You're not a monkey. You're not a, no, not a monkey. You're not a, a, a lion. You're not a dog. You're not a cat. You're not a squirrel. You have more than instinct. You're allowed to feel the instinct. At the same time, you have a brain with which to reason. Feel the instinct, reason with it. Damn, is that good? It might, might be bad. Is that bad? It might be good. Feel it out. Think, plan, do. Speak by doing. Don't tell me you're going to take care of this. Do it. And there's no way I can't believe it. I'm convinced. You know, he said he's going to take care of it. Let's take care of it. Well, he said he's going to take care of it. He hasn't done it yet. Leaves room for doubt. Speak by doing. Oh, shit, man. He did it. Wow, it's done. Case closed. Getting back to shedding, shedding, shedding. Get rid of that junk, that luggage, that excess luggage you carry. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let, 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 give it up to your higher power. Give it up to your creator. God help me. Help me with this guy. I can't take this anymore. You know, she's getting tired of me. I'm getting tired of me. They're getting tired of me. Dog don't want to see me. Cat don't come next to me. It's time for a change. Might want to do something. You might want to fix that. Yeah. You might want to fix that. Let somebody know. <clears throat> Listen, there's going to be a part two to this. Or this is just a small part of me opening up to you, whoever you are. doesn't matter. If you take this information I give you and you want to use it against me, sorry. won't work because I told you. That means I'm telling everybody else. So from here on out, be prepared for the next step. This will be step one, the shedding.